I believe it's going to be the best opportunity for aspiring entrepreneurs and risk takers to capitalize on acquiring wealth. You've heard the news. It is true. A recession is coming in 2023. I actually don't know that. I'm, I, I think one's coming. I actually think that we're already living through one right now, but there's a lot of economic indicators that say that we're not in quite one yet, but one is definitely going to happen. I just think that we are just because of how high inflation is and just the overall vibes of, you know, the economy and the people out there today. So that's what I want to talk about today. I think that this upcoming recession, the one that we currently could be in, the greatest opportunity for people in their 20s and 30s to be able to capture wealth. Most of us were too young or inexperienced to have lived through the 2008 real estate market crash. We kind of felt like we missed out. This potentially could be our opportunity for that. And I think that it is an imperative that we start acting and preparing. I'm going to share with you my plan to do so. For those that don't know, a recession is essentially when a economy weakens. A lot of people lose a lot of net worth and a lot of people lose their jobs. But this is also an opportunity for people who are willing to take risk and take massive action. There's a common saying that millionaires are made in recessions and I think it's because people get creative when they buy assets at a deeply discounted rate and they have to get creative with surviving with their business so when times get easier they get to thrive. People get put in tough situations so they're forced to sell their property at a deeply discounted rate and because of all the uncertainty people freeze and don't take any action. So this is an opportunity for someone who is maybe not in a situation, doesn't have a lot of cash, they don't have a lot to lose, to be able to make their mark, to be able to get creative and to work really hard to either build a business or buy a business at a deeply discounted rate that they couldn't afford before, or buy this piece of property or whatever it may be. Like this is like our opportunity. You mix this upcoming recession with the start of the silver tsunami. If you don't know what that is, there's about 10,000 baby boomers that are entering the retirement age every single day and about 20% of them or 2,000 own businesses and I'm pretty sure the baby boomers own about 50% of all real estate in America so I think there's something like 20 or 40 million rental properties in the US so about half of those are probably owned by baby boomers who over the next 10 or 15 years are either going to be dissolving these businesses, selling these houses, or getting inherited from their, to their heirs. This is a ton of opportunity for people to be able to capture that, either by buying businesses or buying the properties, building businesses, building real estate, whatever it may be. I think it's just a great opportunity to get in there, take a ton of action, take some risks, and just build the life that you have always wanted to live. That's why I think that now is the best time to start preparing and planning for what you're going to do and start taking action today. So this is my plan. And to be completely honest, I think all these things that you can do regardless or should do regardless if there's a recession or not. So really, it's just, just be a life plan and just go about doing it, whether the times are good or times are bad. A lot of you might have a lower income going forward during a recession. So the first and I think the easiest thing to do is to cut distractions and expenses. So I'm going to cancel all of my subscription services like Disney Plus, HBO Max, the AMC movie theater thing, theater, the AMC movie theater thing, as well as my gym membership. Surprisingly, they are not that expensive, but they are huge time distraction. I'm also giving up video games. I love video games; they always have, but it's very easy to get caught up and play one, two, or even four hours of video games straight. Time just flies, and that's a lot of time that I could be spending in other areas of my life that I want to focus on. And I know a lot of people out there that are watching this can as well. It's probably the most unproductive thing that you can do, even though it's incredibly fun and I enjoy talking crap to other people on Call of Duty. It's a great time to stop eating out as much. I know that I love going out to nice restaurants, order and delivery because it's you know easy. I ordered Uber Eats last night for $25 and got a burger and fries. One, that's unhealthy. Two, that's su stupid expensive for burgers and fries. So I said, start cooking at home more often and invite friends over to be social on Friday or something like that. It's to be significantly cheaper for you and for your friends and maybe a little more intimate as well. Finally, might be a good time to cut alcohol. I 
enjoy beer and cocktails as much as anyone else. Like seriously, I would love just coming home, relaxing after a workout or whatever, it's a bad day at work, cracking open a beer and just watching football or playing video games. It's not that much, but it does add up. You know, every beer nowadays is like two or three dollars. You go out to eat and it's like eight dollars for a beer. That adds up very quickly. I think that if you I think that if you cut these you know, three things out, stop going out to eat, stop drinking as much, if drinking at all, and definitely cut back on subscription services and video games, you'll probably get back 10, 15 hours a week and probably save yourself a couple or a few hundred bucks a month, if not more. Number two, which I think might be the most important, is to focus on your health, both mind and body. So I've been thinking a lot about like who I am, who I want to be, trying to get a ton of introspective and working on like my mindset and stuff like that. You need to be able to think clearly, stay productive, and have less sick days for all obvious reasons. And when coming to like the mind specifically, I'm talking about you know working on your mindset, believing in yourself, all that kind of cheesy stuff like actually works and it makes you feel better. And for the for that reason alone, it's worth doing. If it makes you just feel better, instead of thinking of so much negativity, you're thinking of positivity, and it just you just have a better day thinking about that kind of stuff. And you'll be surprised like how great you feel after kind of letting your mind wander, sitting down, and just like meditating for like 10 or 15 minutes. It's crazy. It's better than a cup of coffee. Like I promise you, like it's that good. Do it for like 15, 20 minutes. And there's it's a funny saying that if you can't sit down and meditate for 20 minutes once a day, then you need to do it twice a day. And obviously your body, while you're cutting out all these distractions, stop eating out as much and drinking to really put a focus on your physical health. You know, I let this slip way too often in my life. You know, I, I have, like, I guess more recently, but not been, you know, picking up on my marathon and ultra marathon training. If you didn't know, I signed up for an ultra marathon running 56 miles. Kind of scared about it, but you know, I signed up, so I'm gonna do it. And you might be surprised from earlier when I said that I'm canceling my gym membership because I'm going to be spending so much time running and doing calisthenics so I don't really need a gym. So that's going to be an extra like 25, 30 bucks saved every month. Obviously, if you're worried about your your mind and training and stuff like that, then you know also going hand in hand with like not eating out as much is just eating healthier. But like it's really important that like you still invest in yourself in terms of quality of stuff you put inside your body. You know, like I could tell a huge difference from like when I'm eating bad to when I'm eating like salads a lot and like, you know, more raw foods rather than when I'm eating like burgers and fries like I had last night. And so just the fact that you feel better from eating healthier food is going to keep you more productive during every other area of your life. So it's an investment to eat better food more so than it is an expense. And the third part of my plan is to go all in on creative financing, buying businesses, real estate, and creating content. I know that a recession is the best time to start or grow a business. While most people are dialing back their marketing, laying off their workforce, getting ready for the recession, if you're able to figure out how to be like an actual lean business, learn how to survive when the times are hard so you can thrive when the times are easy. Where it is you want to start. If you want to get into real estate, home buying, like what I do, or want to start like a tech startup or a content creation business or whatever it may be, start it today. Like Learn those skills because even if you fail in six months or one year, two years, like hopefully that you've learned something that you could apply to your next business. And I honestly think, think that's the most important thing. Go learn the aspects of a business through starting anything. Doesn't matter. I really don't care what it is. It could be the coolest thing or the dumbest thing. It's more important to, to start and have failed or, and learned than it is to have not started and never failed. Whether you get the cash to invest or not, learning how to buy assets creatively is the best way to get further ahead in life. Because you're, you're able to buy on seller financing without using any money at all. You could buy real estate or businesses zero percent down if you're able to structure a really good deal you find a distressed seller or someone who's in a really good position that doesn't need cash they'll be willing to sell it on owner financing and not even require a down payment all you gotta do is come up with closing costs which i'm sure you can figure out and finally creating content 
I'll go in a, another video into more excruciating detail about like what my plan is and why I think content creation is so important. But in short, I think that the next three to five years is like one of the last few moments that we have to create an audience, to you know, build our brand at a, a ridiculous amount of growth and success. But I see it happening. I know things just get harder and harder over time and the number of people that are getting into content creation and stuff like that, but I don't want to really get into it because that's not the point of this video. But, but that's my plan. I'm going to go all in on cutting back on expenses and distractions. I'm going to go all in on my health with my body and fitness and my mind with mindset and like meditation. And I'm going all in on buying real estate and assets creatively on my business, on growing or buying other businesses, going all in on content creation. I think that if you're trying to prepare for the upcoming recession, that those are the pillars that are going to improve your chance of success, reduce your chances of having a bad time during it, and to live a life that you truly want to. If you do want to live a life of an immense amount of success. If you're someone who's going all in and willing to take a ton of action, please let me know in the comments and I'm gonna be leaving some resources in the description below, such as content creators, books, stuff like that. So go check them out. And if you get any value out of this, please relieve the subscribe button of its responsibilities by clicking it and let me know in the comments any sort of questions that you have or what your plan is during the upcoming recession. 